father's Jamestown barber, is retiring. For all those years, Ted Sessler started most of his days here at Ted's Barber Shop. Then, last week, Ted said he got a chance to sell the business. He plans to work on this house a little bit more, spend some more time with his wife, Faye. Those two have been married, congrats, folks, almost 60 years. The community thanked Ted this week with a celebration and a big cake. Felt blessed. There were 60 people there, or around 60. A lot of cars and a lot of camaraderie going on. A lot of goodbyes, a lot of jokes. <laughs> it was a nice night. Some jokes he couldn't share with us, apparently. <laughs> Ted said a new barber is moving into Ted's old place by the end of the year. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Dante Jones. Oh, congratulations to Ted. And come on, Ted. It's, it's uh, WHIO TV tonight. You can share those jokes with us. Come on. <laughs> all right. So far, we are uh, all of the, a lot of this is just ground clutter here, but we have fizzled out the shower and thunderstorm activity that we had earlier. Some severe weather uh, just after 630 and into the prime time. North Lewisburg seeing a moderate shower right about now, but everybody else is just dry and damp and muggy. Temperatures are 74 in the city of Dayton and 72 in Sydney. So we're in the lower to mid 70s across the Miami Valley, and again, that humidity is out there. Take a look at the tropics. Here is Hurricane Ida, uh, 80 mile an hour sustained winds moving away from the western coast of Cuba into the Gulf of Mexico, where it's going to strengthen into a Category 4 hurricane. And by the time we head into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, it'll make landfall as a Cap 4 uh, right along the Louisiana coastline. It's 125 mile an hour, uh, actually a Cap 3 perhaps, that uh, may weaken just before it makes landfall. And unfortunately, by that time, it'll be the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, which was also a Category 3 storm. We'll have to watch where the remnants go. By Wednesday, we could see some showers uh, from that, uh, which could be some well-deserved rain, by the way. We have been awfully dry. So the showers, like I said, are fizzling out. Then as we get into the day on Saturday, an afternoon or evening pop-up shower, a thunderstorm can't be ruled out here. Most of us will probably remain dry. I think that's a little bit more robust than actually what will happen. Then as we get into the day on Sunday, again, a chance of afternoon and evening pop-up showers and embedded thunderstorms roll on by. But not a complete washout. Neither day is a washout. Uh, so overnight tonight, warm and muggy. Temperatures around 71. Some patchy fog tomorrow. Again, temperatures about 91. Mix of sun and clouds, a few isolated storms that feel like we're in the mid to upper 90s. Then we cool it down a bit as we get into next week. We've got temperatures seasonal in the lower to mid 80s, partly cloudy skies, a few showers and embedded thunderstorms. Looks like we're drier as we head into the day on Thursday. Thank you, sir. Folks, all of our news time, handing off Touchdown 7 and James Ryder to you. That's coming up on the other side of the break. Stay with us.